Hey everyone, I'm Osman Ahmed, one of the interventional radiologists here at University of Chicago. I want to thank you for joining us on this virtual tour. I will be your tour guide and um, we're going to start out here on the seventh floor of the CCD building. Our interventional suite is in this building, but this is where our patients will be checking in. And so patients will come here, they'll check in on the front desk. It's a very nice new updated hospital, it was built uh, in 2013 when I was actually a senior resident. In the pre-COVID era, there used to be a piano player, a lot more liveliness here. Um, but it's still, as you can see, a very modern, updated, beautiful place. You can check out the city skyline. Pre-COVID era, we used to have vascular conference over here. Dialysis conference used to be up here. So a lot of different conference rooms, meeting space. Hopefully we'll get that normalcy back and uh, be able to use those spaces again too. All right, so here we are, the Sky Lobby. This is where you're able to kind of come up here to have lunch. It's pretty traditional, plenty of good options. As you can see, um, great desserts and a little Pete's Coffee shop as well. So pretty much everything you need. Just a really awesome place to have lunch and take in the views. You can see Lake Michigan right over there. It's really nice. And we're now on the second floor and we're gonna turn the corner and there's gonna be the bridge and that connects the CCD, which is the new hospital where IR is, the, the, the Sky Lobby that we just came from is, and uh, connects it to the outpatient center, which is called DCAM. Right as we get to the end of the bridge will be our clinic space. The cool thing about our new clinic space is that it is shared with the transplant team, um, which includes the hepatology team and the transplant surgeons. So we work pretty closely with them on our liver tumor program. Um, and so we often now will see patients together as part of our multidisciplinary liver tumor clinic, uh, in addition to our IR clinic that we will see all of our patients for. We are in 2F and 2E. This is our space over here. So clinic we are doing now once a week on Mondays where we'll try to see all of our patients. This is a lobby, really nice. This is probably one of the newer, more upgraded uh, areas of the hospital, so it's really cool. And you can see patients will check in here, wait for their appointments. This is our brand new rooms here that you can see. Really nice, really awesome for our patients. All right, so now that we're done seeing the clinic, let's go check out where really all that magic happens. The floors in the CCD are divided by east, west, and center. And so we are on five west, and essentially we have the entire five west corridor. We have now made our way over to the IR reading room. And as you can see here, we kind of have a multiple workstations. The really nice thing about our reading room is you can monitor all the procedure rooms from inside uh, the reading room itself. So you don't even have to get up. One of our residents is doing a gastrostomy tube there. Um, and then we also have our EPIC status board with all the procedures that are going on. We're wrapping up for the day, as you can see. Typically, our attendings will sit over here in this space. That's my spot right here with the luxury office chair. Each year the fellows give us a class gift and this is probably one of our most prized possessions that we do have here. This is the Dr. Tom Tullius class of 2019 water cooler rack. Probably one of the best gifts we've ever gotten. This is actually a legit coffee maker as you can see. Uh, multiple options, including my personal favorite, milk chocolate. We, we're a pretty full service IR section here. Our residents typically will sit here and this is where probably 99% of the work is being done. Is that correct, guys? <laughs> <laughs> like I mentioned we have a really nice setup that it's all connected and you know you just get up and, and you're in uh, the procedure area. And so the way this is set up, uh, again, is really nice. It's one long corridor. So we have just one giant shared control room, essentially. We have primarily Philips rooms. It all had the large screen. Everything was part of the new hospital installation, so we have uh, pretty upgraded, nice units. This is the man right here. Controls day to day, he's the quarterback. <laughs> all right, so we saw the three procedure rooms over there, then we have two more over here. This is my favorite room. It got installed right around the time I started in 2018. It's a combined CT fluoroscopy unit. This one is made by Canon, actually. And we get to do some really cool, unique stuff in here. And um, as you can see, there's a, a CT guided drain placement going on, but 
the cool thing is you can kind of switch back uh, between CT and fluoroscopy. This is actually also in our era of COVID um, has been turned into kind of our primary COVID unit. So we built this anti-room to make the room negative pressure. The neuro staff usually uses this room and this is where our biplane Phillips room is. And so I use this room sometimes to do kyphoplasties. I can really tell you that this is a great place to be, both as a trainee and as an attending. The residents and fellows have incredible autonomy. You really can pick and choose the types of cases you want to do. Everybody's very laid back here. No malignant personalities. Everybody gets along really well. It's just a great overall atmosphere. For people who are interested in research, there's an incredible wealth of resources. So really can't say enough about how this place is an ideal for people that are interested in a well-rounded IR program.